So this is part two of the uh, gamut warning caper, the gamut warning gambit. <laughs> um, I want to uh, I want to use gamut warning and proof setup to actually help me adjust the file to get the file into gamut. So first thing to do is to pick your paper. Uh, so again, I'm going to go into proof setup, pick my uh, pick my let's say I want to print with enhanced mat. Oh, I pick enhanced mat. You can see the colors dull down, but still I don't use this visually as much as I use the gamut warning to uh, flag the trouble areas. Okay. Now, if you're using um, smart objects, I'm going to go into my smart object and adjust the saturation, but I could use uh, hue saturation here and, uh, and adjust the gamut, uh, pick out the color, and uh, adjust the saturation. You can see it in the background. Uh, so I take the saturation down and <clears throat> take my red to uh, to a place that's happy. So uh, that gives you an idea of what's going on. I I um I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, delete that because I I'm gonna do the adjustment in a smart object. So I'm go in and click my smart objects. Um, go to hue and saturation. I wanna I I like the red to be a little bit more on the orange side anyway. And then I'm going to go in and take my saturation down. So I'm manually mapping the colors around to try to get them to fit in gamut. Um, I'm going to hit OK and you should see this change and a lot of it come come into the gamut of my paper. Yeah, so that's much better. Um, still there's stuff that's out but you know, that's stuff I'm going to have to live with. It's not that critical, but the important part is that I wanted it to shift a little bit unsaturated and a little bit to the orange rather than just let settling for what the system decided that I wanted. <laughs>